Hi, Justin here from Resonate Music School and Studio. I uh, just wanted to come at you with a new tutorial video. Uh, this one is on how to make scratching, as in DJ vinyl scratching, without actually having to have the DJ or the vinyl. All I've got is Pro Tools, a scratch sample, and a keyboard, and I'm using battery, but you can use almost any sampling plugin. So the first thing that we're going to do, I've got a little drum loop here loaded up. So we've got that rocking, um, and the first thing we're going to do is make a stereo instrument track. I'm going to call this Scratch, and I'm going to put battery on it. Now we're going to load into the first slot in battery uh, a classic Scratch sample of just the ah. So... Take that, drop it in there. So it's a pretty, pretty classic sample you'll find on most scratch records. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to change the velocity to volume knob here down to zero. And what that's going to do is it's going to make it so no matter how soft or how hard I hit it, it's always going to be the same. Um, the next thing we're going to do is change the modulation. And what I want to do here is set it so that my pitch bend wheel, so I'm going to choose uh, pitch bend. So I want that to affect the tuning. So that's going to basically make this knob go up and down. I'm going to set that to about 75%. And then when I play it, I can now change it. And I can change it on the fly over and over and over again. Um, next thing we got is we're going to copy this twice. So I'm going to copy this to the second one and the third one. So I'm just holding down Option um, or Alt if you're on a, on a PC um, and then dragging over and you're going to copy that over to the next patch or to the next, uh, next sample spot. So basically I've got three different versions and currently they're set up to be on C, C sharp, and D. Now what we're going to use these for is I'm going to go to the second one and what I want to do is reverse it and I want to make it shorter. So this is going to be emulating an actual scratch where you would be pushing the pushing the sample forward, that will be the first one, and pushing the sample backwards will be the second one. So Okay, and what we want is so that it actually stops when I stop hitting the key. We're going to highlight all three of these. So I'm going to click the first one and shift click the third one. And I'm going to go back to the main page and I'm going to set a volume envelope. Set it to ADSR. So that's this first little button here. And take the release all the way off and put the sustain all the way up. So now I've got this. So as I hit the as I hit the key and as I let go of it, it stops playing. So, so now we've got that pushing forward and pushing back sound. And then I've got one sample that's just designed to be when you let it play through. Now what I want to do is set the first two to both play when I hit the C button. So all I'm going to do, I'm going to select the first one and shift click the second one so it'll highlight both of them. And on this key range button here, I'm going to click the MIDI input and I'm going to play C1 twice. The first one sets the key range start and the second one sets the key range end, which for both, both cases we want to just be C. So you see how it changed to C1 there? Now we're going to go to setup and we're going to choose, um, we're going to choose the condition here for cell activation to be cycle random. And what you'll notice for both of them, because they're still highlighted, is now when I hit C, it's only going to play one at a time and it's going to cycle through them randomly. Right, so now I've got kind of back and forth here and there and it'll play a bunch in a row of the same one, so it's totally random. 
all we're going to do now, this is our final step, is basically uh, change the pitch bend while we do that. So the pitch bend will, will be on all of them now because we did it before we copied. So if I use the pitch bend and play this key, So now I've got my scratch sound. And if we play this a little bit, get rid of battery, and we can record. At this point, you can actually go in and quantize your notes if you want to, so you can be the most precise DJ in the entire world. Um, and this is this is a really fun tool and really cool if you're not a DJ and you really want to get some quick scratching sounds, even if it's just for demos or for an idea. Um, and if you if you do play with some of the settings, you can get it sounding good enough to be on a record. Thanks for watching. Check out our website at resonatemusic.ca, and I hope to see you soon.